Hello, my name is Stephen Lightfoot and I'm the Chair of NHS Sussex and I'd just like to spend a few moments to share some of the key decisions that we made at our NHS Sussex board meeting in public uh, on the 27th of March. Now we move our board meetings around so we can go and visit local services after we've actually had our board meeting and we did that yesterday in Hastings. So thanks to the teams that uh, hosted us, we really appreciate the time you took out of your busy day. Now for the board meeting itself, we started with the Chief Executive Report and the first item on that was around the ongoing staff survey and consultations that are ongoing with the change programme within the NHS Sussex organisation. This is really important because we've had a national direction to reduce our running costs by 30% uh, in line with all of the other integrated care boards across England. So that's a really big deal for our organisation and it's a really uncertain time for our staff. So I was really pleased that our Workforce and Remuneration Committee were able to provide assurance on the process that's been followed and the learnings from previous consultations as well. Adam was then able to give us an update on the current operational priorities. And we're really pleased to hear that we're on target for the year end to achieve our four hour waits in accident and emergency departments, to reduce our waiting lists so that no one has to wait longer than 78 weeks at the end of the year, uh, and also then uh, achieving the faster cancer diagnosis standard so that patients get diagnosed within 28 days of referral. Quality is really important in all of this. Uh, and, and so actually our patient experience committee report provided assurance on the deep dives that they've been doing in terms of the quality assurance on at University Hospital Sussex, uh, at Sussex Partnership Foundation Trust, and also uh, in primary care through our 158 GPs. Again, I think good progress has been made in all of those areas, but I think it's fair to say that the committee wanted further assurance on specific aspects in each one. So there'll be further work to be done in all of those areas. And the board discussed how it can support University Hospital Sussex uh, to deliver its quality, safety and improvement progress uh, pr program and address some of the issues that have been found recently by regulators. Now, our financial position was an important uh, discussion point at our board meeting yesterday as well. And we certainly, uh, through our Finance Performance Committee, identified that we're forecasting a £37 million financial deficit on a total income uh, of almost £4 billion. Now, that's not where we want to be. Um, and certainly has an impact on the planning round for the forthcoming uh, financial year. Now the board ratified the draft planning submission that we've got where we're achieving the majority of our operational standards but unfortunately we've not yet solved the financial deficit and therefore that further work will be needed with our system and in conjunction with NHS England to come up with a compliant plan that can be approved uh, by uh, the national team. Now, we also had the opportunity to look at our future looking plans as well. And so the development of the 16 integrated community teams is a key part of our improving lives together strategy. And we're really pleased to hear the progress that's been made, not only learning from the three front runner programs in Crawley, in Hastings and East Brighton. You know, we, we heard about the population health profiles that have been introduced and developed for each of those uh, areas for in conjunction with our uh, public health colleagues but also then the development of the core offer uh, that will be necessary to provide a consistency of service across the 16 areas so that we can then start to work out the local service offer uh, to enable the, you know, the needs of those teams to meet uh, the requirements in, in each of our communities, whether that be Hastings, whether that be Chichester, whether that be Crawley or whether that be Brighton. And I think what the board really uh, took seriously was, well, OK, it's all very well, we're making good progress. But we set the challenge to the team of what difference will the public see in one year's time? So again, that was something that the, uh, the team will take away to come back at a future uh, board meeting to report back in terms of, OK, how are we going to address that to make the integrated community teams a genuine way of improving the way that we can deliver health and care services across our Sussex footprint? We also spent some important time on governance, and that's not just about managing risk. But it was also about approving the terms of reference for our Sussex Health and Care Assembly, uh, our new committee in common, but also importantly the strategic commissioning policy that will really be the central component of the purpose of NHS Sussex. These were all important building blocks to deliver our strategy improving lives together. So we were very important to spend the time on making sure they're right to, to deliver on that particular ambition. 
So that gives you a very brief summary of our board meeting. We've got our next board meeting on the 27th of May. So thank you for your interest and I look forward to seeing you next time.